that if you're exposed to PCBs, you're at greater risk of type two diabetes. Most docs think you get diabetes only because you're fat, you don't exercise enough and you eat too much food. Right. Well, eating too much food, all of those animal fats contain PCBs. Mm -hmm. They're absolutely totally distributed within our food supply. Yes. They're lipophilic, they're, they're in fat. You can't eat a Big Mac without getting a dose of PCBs. Right. If you eat a fish from a contaminated water, body of water, you get a lot of PCBs. PCBs and a lot of other chemicals are fat soluble. They migrate in body fat. So when you eat a Big Mac that has PCBs, it also has dioxin. It also has DDT. It also has a whole variety of Durans. polybrominated flame retardants and yeah. probably has yeah. some perfluorinated compounds. Yeah, yeah. So it's always a trick to try to figure out which one is causing any particular disease. When you say this, you know, you've got high fat meats, you've got fish, you've got eggs, you've got dairy. Um, you know, everybody's pushing towards keto diets. Everybody's pushing towards carnivore diets. Everybody, you know, it's this trend, right? That everybody's like pushing. And you see these fantastic case studies and you see these people. But in my clinical practice, it's interesting. Some of the people who are early adopters are now seeing me with all sorts of liver problems. And I'm, I'm, I'm curious to myself, I'm thinking, gosh, you know, they're in such great shape. You know, they, their cholesterol levels are, are, are normal for a long time. And then all of a sudden their organs just right. like, is this chemical induced? Is it possible that we're having these fat laden type chemicals that are now shutting down the organ systems? What, what do you, what's your take on this with all these? I, it, you're absolutely right. Uh, and it's very interesting in our studies, both in Anniston, Alabama and with the Native American community in Northern New York, we find that the higher the high chlorinated PCBs, not the volatile ones, mm -hmm. but the ones that are in fish and and beef and butter and whole milk. Yeah. Those increase the synthesis in the body of cholesterol and triglycerides. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the major risk factor for a heart attack? It's your serum lipids. Mm -hmm. And so not only can you get diabetes and screw up your reproductive system by breathing them in, but you can increase your risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke by eating animal fats that contain these high chlorinated PCBs. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, animal fat is the thing right now. And let's eat more fat, eat more fat and watch what happens. I get lean, my, my lab values come into normal. Can you speak to time of effect of some of the endocrine effects, for example, in chemicals? I mean, we're not talking a year and sometimes we're not talking about five years. Sometimes we're talking about 10 or 15 or 20 years before these effects takes place. Am I, am I, not correct or what? What's no, the you're absolutely correct. Uh, yeah. And you know, the, the question is we really don't understand uh, these mechanisms. There's even some question as whether uh, these high fat diets do all the things that some people are saying they do. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I, I avoid fat as much as I can because of the chemicals that are in it. 